Hi! I missed you! Thank you so much for clicking onto this video. My name is April, and this is April Budgets. Welcome or welcome back. If you are new, my name is April. I am an all cash stuffer on a journey to become debt free so that I can buy me and my babies a house. If you want to join me and follow my journey, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you along on the journey. As promised, today's video, I am going to be sharing my budget for technically January or February week two. I believe it's paycheck two. I believe. <laughs> it's my first paycheck of February, so um, I did complete my budget. Um, Peep the new binder. I got this off of Amazon. I just thought it was so cute and it matched my vibe so much. Y'all don't fret because the Aloha binder, um, the OG, she's not going anywhere. Um, she just is going to be housing um, some savings challenges. So don't worry, she's not going anywhere. She is one of my favorites. I just can't seem to part with her. But we got this new one um, simply for our budgeting booklets. We got our Let's Go on a No Spend Adventure dashboard from Two Sister Bees. And then, of course, we have the beautiful purple Budget with Ira budget book. This is his um, February edition. And oh my goodness, so beautiful. I am so happy. Finally did an all purple collection. Y'all, let me zoom you in and give you a look at my budget. So here we are. Uh, I'm so excited to finally be able to do this for you. Um, I just want to let you guys know just a few things. Number one, I have decided not to disclose how much money uh, Ms. and I make uh, just because I want to protect myself from possible people that don't agree with what I do with my money. So the only thing I'm going to be sharing is my budget. I'm not going to show like how much money I've I've made and and I'm not I never claim to be a zero-based budgeter cuz I'm not. I like to leave a cushion in my checking account in case of an emergency in case something comes up um and I just I don't want to upset anybody. Oh, I did fill out the February um budget not the budget. Oops, this always falls on me. I did fill out the February bills and I did mark those with his beautiful expense trackers. These come with his kits. I always order an extra one every month just in case. So as you can see, we've narrowed. These are all my big bills. I have not filled in my subscriptions because honestly, it has been quite a long time and I've gotten rid of some that I kind of need to go through and I need to watch my bank account to make sure they're coming out when they're supposed to and how much they are. But... We have that all done. And here is my budget for um, April. This is going to be week one. Obviously, this is February. <laughs> okay, so my check was very, very nice this week. And let's just say I have $1,000 still in the bank sitting there because I want to put that into my savings challenges. Most importantly, I want to put that into my 100 envelope challenge, but I'm still debating if I want that much money in the house. So I may just cash stuff some prop money. I have not decided. Let me know down below what you would want to see. Um, but because my check was so nice i decided to pay all the bills for the month of february so every single bill that you saw over here 
even though they were due in different spots, they are all paid. Um, gas, electric, water, um, I paid my car tags, that's all paid up. So all our bills are already paid for the month, we are all set. So we shouldn't have to worry about anything other than saving money this month and I'm so excited for that. I got a very, very significant raise at work. Um, it's the most money I've made in my entire life and it's going to take some getting used to, but I don't think it's gonna be that hard to get used to, so I'm doing very well. So you're probably gonna see these numbers change very soon. So we paid up all of our bills, um, and then we are going to cash stuff our car insurance, our $2 challenge, um, and $60 in Christmas, as per the usual. In our wallets, we are doing 170 in groceries. I don't have enough lines for all my wallet um, envelopes. So um, self-care and drinks, they are going to be 150. Um, 30 for drinks, 120 for self-care and or nails. It's nail week. My mom helps me out with the kids quite a bit. She never asks for anything, but and she never expects anything but she helps me out so much I just simply can't not do anything for her so I always take that money and she goes to my nail girl and she gets her nails done just a little something to treat herself once a month and I love doing that for her so that is why it's so much gas $50 as usual household we only need about $50 this money only has to last us until Wednesday. I am filming this on Sunday, so we only have a few more days to go, and I think we'll be good. And we are going to go ahead and put $20 in our miscellaneous. And you might notice that we are not putting anything in our spending envelope this week. That is because I went out and I treated everybody to something special on payday. And those of you, I know I'm on a debt-free journey and that money could have went to debt, but, or I could have saved that money, but you need to have a little bit of fun with your money too. I've learned, if there was anything I learned last year, was that I cannot restrict myself that much. So, because I took them all out to get something special, I don't need anything, any spending money, neither does Ms. We are, we'll be good. We'll probably stuff that next with, with Ms.'s paycheck, but for now we're good. Um, and then, of course, our sinking funds will be getting the normal, um, what they get, date night, $28. That's because I have an IOU and I probably will have another IOU in sync. I have something to tell you about this envelope. Uh, $20, haircuts, $20, clothing, $40, car maintenance, $40, Costco, $20, family fund, $20, shopping, $20, and book fund, $20. So that is what's going into our sinking funds. And this I have written down down here, but I have not pulled the money out. We are going to put $100 into our debt um, envelope, which is our budget with mama bear envelope and challenges. Our Monday minis, I actually do have that money pulled already, but we do $50 for there. And then we are actually going to pick two envelopes right now. And I'm going to go to the bank and we are going to stuff that money with our savings challenge in our savings challenge video that is finally going to be coming this week. So that is our budget this week. Now let's get in to my favorite part. Let's stuff some cash. So I have the cash right here. And I just want to thank everybody who is here today. I know I have not been as consistent as I would like to be on this channel, but I wanna thank you so much for being here and choosing to spend some time with me. Let's go ahead and give this a cash count. We have 100, 51, 50, and 200. 
20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 20, 40, 60, 80, 3, 20, 40, 60, 80, and 4, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60, 5, 10, 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So all together, we will be stuffing $782 into our cash wallet and sinking funds today. And as always, let's get our wallet out of the way. This is my new wallet from Jen over at Strawberry Money and I just love it. <laughs> it is so cute, isn't it? So cute. Okay, so let's go ahead and just empty her. We have 20, 45, oh, 20, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, and 49 left in groceries. Household, we have seven. Let's see, spending. I actually didn't spend my um, spending money last week, so that's good. We still have 20 in our miscellaneous. And I just realized that for some reason, I didn't order um, a gas envelope. So, but Jen did send me this love yourself at all times envelope. So I'll just use that for gas. And I didn't need to put gas in my car this week, but I will, or last week, but I will have to this week. So let me just sort this real quick. And let's see how much money we have left. So we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 35, 41, 2, oops, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51. So 151, I believe. So that's awesome. That'll go under savings challenges. Oops. And then Ms. He did fill up his gas, but he still had $5 left. Okay. Let me get a cheat sheet over here. We are going to give groceries $170. And I made sure to do this so that we could play our game. Let me get that. Those of you who are new, I always pick a card for the fortune challenge. This is from Budget with Ira. Um, this is much like the wild card challenge that I love. Just has higher denominations. And these are the cards we've already picked. Let me give them... Just a quick shuffle and let's go ahead and let's pick this one. The sun. Let me look up what the sun should be. So I had to look that up and the sun is 19. So I have a 20 and I am almost positive that there is a dollar in here. Yes, there is. That is building up quite nicely. I love it. So that leaves us with a hundred and $51, which is totally fine since this only has to last us until Wednesday. Um, drinks, this is a new envelope. Um, I decided to separate my drinks from my um, food budget because 
I just thought it, I should. So I drink a ghost energy drink. I drink one a day. Each costs $2 and I like $2.50. It's my coffee for the day. So I drink one and when, when Miz goes to work, he has one. And so I used to take that money out of the food budget, which I thought really wasn't fair. So we separated them. Household this week is only going to be getting a 50. We don't need much. Probably won't even touch this actually. Self care is going to be getting 120. And we did it like this. So it's going to be 60 for my nails and 60 for my mommy's nails. Spending is going to be getting skipped. Miscellaneous, we are giving $20 to. And then our gas, I get $25 and Ms. gets $25. Ms. will be very happy that he only has to have <laughs> one envelope in his wallet this week. Oh, this is a beaut. It really is. And let's get Mrs. Money in his envelope. I kind of want to give him, get him new envelopes, but um, he budgets has been on vacation. Um, so if you're an Etsy store that knows any, like if you're an Etsy store that can make something like this that would fit in a men's wallet um, or know of an Etsy store, will you please let me know down below? I would so appreciate that. All right, let's start in our high priority or our bills binder. We are not putting anything in rent or water. Water was just paid. Car insurance is going to be getting $40 and car insurance did just get emptied because it did just get paid. So we are starting over. Nothing in credit cards, savings. Christmas is going to be getting its normal $60. I have not decided if we are going to do a Christmas binder or just do a Christmas challenge. I don't know. I have not decided yet. And in our $2 savings challenge, I decided to do... $24 and that was me wanting to do the 10 and the 14 here and of course I'm not prepared but we got the 14 and the 10 and we already have some singles in here just add some more this is a challenge from creating stacy i think it's so cute and so doable always like to make sure because i don't want to ruin my envelopes all right that is it for our high priority let's get in to my favorite binder the sinking funds it's my favorite. Okay, so <laughs> we always have an IOU and I'm just going to leave that there because we will probably have another IOU, but let's go ahead and scratch another one. This heart, I tell ya. All right, and we are almost done with this challenge. Okay, so that is $2. Let me get my calculator so that I can keep track. Two, oops, come on, turn on. Two plus eight. That's $10 plus $4. We might, 
I don't want to jinx myself, but are we going to finish this challenge? Nope. <laughs> nope. Plus 19 is $33 and I have 28. So I have a $5 IOU. I love this vacuum and I love when I get to use it. Okay, so let's change this to five. And let's go ahead and put our $20 in here. So that means we're actually going to complete this um, this week, which is absolutely perfect because Ms. and I want to go out to eat to a restaurant this weekend. He works on Valentine's Day, so we're going to celebrate Valentine's Day this weekend. So that's actually perfect in sync okay y'all are you ready for a story time so i know last video i was like up in the air should i or shouldn't i i just felt so guilty and i felt so selfish because the tickets were quite expensive and everyone was like just get the tickets you deserve it just buy the tickets um and then Justin Timberlake added more dates. So I scored some tickets. Um, and because my check was what it was, I just worked it into the budget, which means this money is going to be spending money. We also need to start saving because we are going to be spending the weekend or at least the night. We're going to get a little hotel room and I'm so excited. So this is going to be going towards the concert because the tickets are already been bought. And thank you everybody for encouraging me to do that because I cannot tell you how excited I am and how much I, it's just, I haven't done something like this in so long. So thank you. So in NSYNC slash Justin Timberlake, we have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82. We finally hit the $200 mark. I'm so excited for that. So you're going to see this, this envelope um, bump up quite a bit. Haircuts gets its usual $20. And it now has $80, which means the boys must be due for a haircut very, very soon. Clothing is getting its normal $40, and you're going to see the amount for this go up quite a bit too, because I've decided for spring cleaning, we are all going to go through our clothes, and we are going to get some spring clothes. But I told my family they are not going to get any new clothes until they've gone through their old ones and picked out the things that they want and they don't want, because if it doesn't serve a purpose, we shouldn't have it. That's how I want my house to be. <laughs> so we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 190, 210, 220, 230, 240, and $250. So I'm going to start putting more in this envelope too. Car maintenance was just emptied because, like I said, we did um, stop or we did pay for my car tag, so that's all taken care of. Next up is Costco, and Costco is going to be getting its twenty dollars. Family fun, twenty dollars. Shopping gets its twenty dollars. How much does shopping have? $80. This usually, this honestly will probably just go to Costco. So, And next is our book fund. And that's going to be getting its $10. And there we go. 
going to mark our thing. I'm so happy I worked this one into the budget because I want to finish this so much. And that is it for our cash stuffing. But before you go, we need to do something. Okay, so before you go, we have to pick two envelopes. And I couldn't trust myself because everything is in order still. So we have enlisted Kimberly. Kimberly has no idea what these are marked as. So I'm going to ask her to pick two envelopes. And that's what we're going to cash stuff in our savings challenge um, video. So, honey... Can you pick two? Take this one. Which one? This one. This one? Okay, we got... Okay, this one, 53. And one more, sweetie. This one? Two. Okay. Do you want to show them? You got to lift... You got to put them right here so they can see. Yay! <laughs> so she picked 90 and 53. Yay! So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put these in the front so that I know. And thank you, honey. <laughs> Y'all, if you enjoyed this video, will you please do me a favor and give it a big old thumbs up? And until next time... Please stay amazing, my friends. Bye.